So uh, today I have a little bit of an update on using a full-size flashlight and carrying it in the sheath. All right, so here's a sheath for that uh, Olight. Um, you notice that the Olight is not in its sheath. <laughs> uh, I actually really like this. Uh, I do really enjoy the fact that it has the button snap on there because in carrying this uh, for about a week or so, um, it was very nice to be able to slip it through the belt because I uh, actually forgot about putting it on. I'm um, so used to carrying things in my pockets and stuff and not carrying a, uh, a full-size sheath for a flashlight. I literally put my pants on, put my belt on everything, and I go, oh, wait a minute, the sheath. You know, so, you know, the fact that I don't have to actually undo my entire belt just to get this on, that's a pretty nice bonus. Um, but if you notice on the sheath, it also has a strap on the back, which is more secure. So if you use the button snap, all right, it's easy to get on and off. But it can, you know, technically unsnap and maybe fall off if you're doing cartwheels or something, uh, maybe skydiving. Um, but I had no problem with it actually, you know, coming loose or anything. But just as a, an aside, you can, of course, fish this through your belt, which is actually sewn in, all right? So it's more permanent. Uh, also do love the uh, D-ring that's on top, uh, something I know some people have done. I've done it a little bit in the past, like years ago, not any time recently, but throw a little carabiner on here and you can clip it to the you know, little belt loop on your uh, you know, jeans or cargo pants or whatever, so it kind of hangs. It's just a different way to carry it. Um, but yeah, I mean, in actually carrying this, uh, I didn't like it all that much. It's not because it's a bad sheath or anything. It worked out perfectly fine. It was very easy to access, uh, get in and out. Uh, I just didn't like the fact that it was there. It was just a lump on my side. Multiple different types of outfits, wearing a hoodie, having it kind of tucked in, having it open. Um, it just kind of was there. I think that if I were to carry, um, you know, horizontally, it wouldn't be as big of a deal on my side, but vertically, and I don't see, you know, a way to carry this horizontally with this particular uh, sheath. Maybe I'm missing something. Um, but yeah, I mean, horizontal carry for something full size like this, even like a multi-tool uh, or another large flashlight is definitely the way to go for comfort. Vertical, I just found that because I'm overweight, you know, poking my stomach when I'm sitting down, bending over, things like that, uh, it wasn't as convenient. So bigger dudes definitely have some issues with carrying gear around the belt. All right, same thing can go with firearms, but, you know, something full size like this, it just, it was not comfortable. But speaking of firearms, I did get a brand new firearm, which we'll be talking about maybe my EDC update. Um, and I'm actually pocket carrying it, something a little bit different. Most recently, I've been carrying two guns just because of the, you know, environment, everything that's going on. You never know. Uh, so my EDC has changed dramatically. You guys will see an EDC update video soon. Not sure exactly when I'm going to film and post that. Uh, but for now, I have gone back to a pocket organizer. All right. So my front right pocket is uh, taken up by the firearm. I don't want my knife there. I don't want any flashlights, any gear anywhere near it. All right, it needs to be quickly accessible, nothing in the way. So now I'm utilizing my old, uh, you know, pocket organizer for all kinds of stuff, including the flashlight. All right, so as I open this up, you can see here is the old light. Okay, put the pocket clip back on it. And now I carry it in the um, pocket organizer in the cargo pant leg. All right, so even as uh, the summer months come, or I should say spring, it gets a little bit warmer out, and I switch to shorts, I'm still gonna have to stick with cargo shorts when I'm out and about so that I can carry this kind of stuff. Um, it is heavy, it is cumbersome, it is, you know, kind of in the way, but it has so many uh, capabilities. I do actually like really having this, uh, this full-size flashlight on me, all right? Again, because of the current situation, you never know where you might be, where you might have to stay, that kind of thing. I like having, this more capable gear on me. So anyway, the point of this video is not necessarily to talk about EDC, it's just to give you an update that uh, this light in the, uh, the sheath here works out totally fine, but for me, in my specific situation, it just was not that comfortable on the hip, on my belt. I tried mostly left side carry, I did try it one day on my right side. Um, it just, you know, stuck into me, it was just there, it's just a lump. You know, so just not used to it. I'm sure if I, you know, carried all the time, maybe I'd get used to it, but I don't have that much interest in getting used to it. I don't, I don't have to. <laughs> I have different options. So I just wanted to make that video for you guys and ask you um, how you carry your flashlights. Do you carry it in the sheath? Uh, I talked to a friend, Rob, who I, uh, I've known uh, as a cigar friend for many years, but obviously into the uh, knife and gun thing as well. Talked to him on Facebook, and he uses the Night Eyes um, holster that works out great. And he's been carrying a full-size flashlight for years. Um, so some people can get away with doing it for a long time. And he's a bigger dude. 
Uh, but some people don't. Some people like them small. Some people like it on the keys. Some people like it, you know, just uh, in the pocket, little single AAA light. Some people just like the two, two AA or two AAA pen style flashlights. So, you know, all different types of stuff out there for all different people. So I'm curious, what type of flashlight do you carry? And where do you carry it? What's most comfortable for you? Uh, I'm all over the place. I go back and forth with all kinds of stuff. I still have a flashlight on the keys. The other old light, which I happen to have in front of me here. All right, so I don't necessarily need a full-size flashlight, but again, because of things going on, I just like the capability of it. So anyway, that's it for now. Again, you guys will see a uh, EDC update in the future. And I'll talk about some more you know, specifics on what's going on with what you see here and what I've been doing. So that's it for now. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.